Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. On February 18th, Hungarian leader Viktor Orban called for a global alliance against migration as his right-wing populist Fidesz party began campaigning for an 8th of April election in which it is expected to win a third consecutive landslide victory. Now popular at home but increasingly at odds politically and economically with the mainstream European Union peers, uh, Eurac TV reports Orban has thrived on external controversy including repeated clashes with Brussels and lately the United Nations and he is also no friend of George Soros either folks. Now those conflicts mostly centered on migration since people fleeing war and poverty in the Middle East and Africa flooded into Europe in 2015 have intensified it as the elections approach and Orban poses as a savior of Europe's Christian nations. Christianity is Europe's last hope, Orban told an audience of party faithful at the foot of the royal castle in Budapest. With mass migration, especially from Africa, our worst nightmares can come true. The West falls as it fails to see Europe being overrun. Well, that is, folks, a huge a huge issue in that area of the world right now is this mass migration um, supported by the powers that shouldn't be, encouraged by the powers that shouldn't be, by George Soros and others. But it is, uh, I would have to think that most Europeans are not in favor of it. I don't know for sure. I don't live there. But uh, he says, Orban says, Christianity is Europe's last hope. Uh, I will just say that uh, Jesus is our first hope. He should always be our first hope and not our last resort. Folks, there's a lot more to this. This is quite an issue. I will leave you and, and a link to this article. I would ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. There's a few links below I would ask you to check out. Uh, one is to uh, my fiction books on Amazon.com, available in Kindle and paperback. If you're a watcher of world events, end time signs, uh, those books might be of interest to you. There's a, a free read of chapter one of my most recent fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer Story. Read chapter one for free, folks. It'll wet your whistle. There's a link uh, to some music of mine. Check that out and also to a PayPal page if you want to give me a tip or buy me a cup of coffee or some such thing. I appreciate you folks, and I want to continue to remind you, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.